let's go through some of my boxes and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Somehow this project turned into Pandora's box. Have you ever been so busy with life and everything that you spend a really long time kind of neglecting the things going on in your house, not having enough time to properly clean and put things away? That is where I have found myself lately. Yes. <laughs> I have been so busy over the past two years that I've barely had any time for organizing, putting things away, proper cleaning. Like honestly, the house has gone, the house was neglected for a really long time. So I thought it'd be fun to start this series on my channel where I'm slowly but surely organizing, cleaning, fixing my home, you know, taking care of it, repairing all of the neglect that's been done over the years. Of course, this is gonna be probably a very lengthy series because if I didn't have time before, I still don't have very much time now. I decided this time I would try to scale back my goals. Now I do have this huge mess in my bedroom from all of the boxes that I've received over like the last year or two honestly since I started doing boxes on the review channel. Probably not that long actually but maybe the last year year and a half of stuff still in boxes that I haven't had a chance to unbox. I even had this on my list to do over the summer when I wasn't working at the school and I still didn't have time to do it. I did a lot of traveling over the summer and when I was home I was working on other things and so I still didn't get to it and it just bothers me. Like it's taking up space. It's making me feel oh, really overwhelmed to look at it. It's like I don't know, it's like a weight that's on me that I want to just get rid of so that I think it'll make me feel a little bit better. That's kind of been the project that I've been trying to work on for like the last year is trying to clean up all of the neglected things that have been in this house. I have not made very much progress, but we are getting just a little bit closer. It is very hard trying to keep the house clean and picked up all the time. There are seven of us in this house, me, my husband, and my five kids, and the kids are old enough to do chores. They have been doing chores, but we're not very good with consistency here. I'm still not very good at it. It's definitely something that I've been trying to work on for a very long time. One of these days, hopefully it'll kick in. Anyways, for my boxes that I have here, my goal for this video is to just unload two boxes at the very least. Maybe I can unload three, we'll see, but I just wanna give myself a small goal so it doesn't feel so overwhelming. So it's something that I feel like I can accomplish. It doesn't take up too much time. This is very different than what I used to do. So when my kids were younger and I didn't work, I would do like these massive projects and I'd be able to get them done in a day, maybe two days at most, like a whole organizing of closets and sections and I just don't have that time anymore. And since my life has become more busy, it's been harder to find the time to do the projects. I just don't even have a whole entire day anymore to devote to something like I used to, which has made keeping up with everything so much harder because I have not yet learned how to adjust to my lifestyle. Anyways, this is just something that I thought I would share. Let's go through some of my boxes. Like some stuff that's sitting over here isn't even from my boxes. It's kind of become like this pile of places to just put things. You know what I mean, where it's already a cluttered area, so we just add more clutter to it, and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Some of the things that are sitting here, oops. <laughs> Sorry, I was right in the middle of filming and my daughter just texted me her new updated room. She took the leaf lights that I just received from my Dollar Tree haul on my review channel and I let her have them and she sent me the updated pictures of her decorated room. It's very Halloween themed, but look at them. There's waffles on her bed and you can see the orange leaf lights in the back with the pumpkins it's so cute and then she has jack skellington back there of course here's another picture she sent she did a really good job decorating that's what she's been working on the past hour or so she did a good job anyways some of the stuff that's over here isn't even related to oh my gosh i forgot where i was i forgot what i was talking about 
Some of the things that are placed over here have not been from boxes. They're just random things that have been placed here because, you know, it's a junk pile now. And I want to get rid of this said junk pile. So that is why we're doing this video. That was what I was going to say. One of the other issues I've run across with these boxes is one, I was getting so incredibly many boxes. Honestly, I was getting too many. I was getting more than I knew what to do with. It's one of the reasons that I scaled back on my review channel and cut out a lot of subscriptions. The main part of it was cost, but it turned out to be a good thing because I still have all this stuff and I don't know what to do with it. A lot of the problems that I've run across when trying to empty these boxes is the things that are in here don't really have a designated place to go. I don't know what to do with them. So they just still sit in the boxes. Some of these boxes will be easier to unload than other ones. So that's what we'll kind of work through and go through together. But that is the biggest issue that I've had is finding a place for all of these new things. I don't know which one to start with. <laughs> After we get through all these boxes, eventually I'm going to have to get to the shelves. Yeah. So like this box, I don't know if this one will be considered one of the boxes that I'm unboxing, but it's basically a box full of empty boxes. And I keep it just in case I have giveaways of smaller items that need to be packaged in smaller boxes, something that needs to be secure. But honestly, most of the time I forget about it. So what I need to do for this is to find a place to store all my boxes. I don't have a place to store all my boxes right now, so it's just sitting here taking up space. This will probably be one that I'll have to come back to at a later time. Let's try this owl crate box. Now, if you're not familiar, because this is not my review channel, this is a book box. Owl crate is a magical reads young adult book box in case you're interested. I have tons of reviews on my review channel, but now I have to figure out things to do with this. Now, this was a dark academia throw blanket. I think I left it in the package because I was unsure whether or not I would keep it in something that might end up being in a giveaway or maybe sold. I don't know. I have metal bookmarks, which metal bookmarks are a good thing to have. I definitely have a bookmark collection and I think I might have some place to put these with my other bookmarks. So at least that's something I can get rid of this box. I don't remember what books these came from. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads only lives one. I love that quote. They're fine. Magnetic bookmarks are fine. What is this? Let's see. Kel's letter opener. See, I don't know what to do with this letter opener. I don't really use letter openers. The Shades of Magic trilogy. I haven't read this series. Power and Balance, Balance and Power. It has a letter on it that says London. It's very obviously a letter opener. I just still don't know what to do with it or where to put it. I don't really have a specific place in my house where I keep mail, where I open my mail. I guess I do open my mail mostly downstairs where I usually film. I could probably put it down there because that would be a place, a practical place to put a letter opener because that's where I would open my letters. Okay, next we have just these little inserts. I don't need to keep these. I don't need to keep what was in here. The little magazines, sometimes I keep those, sometimes I don't, it depends on what's in it. And if there's recipes, I will definitely keep them. If there's journal prompts, I will keep them, but this one doesn't do that. I could just toss all of that, that's trash, so that's something I can deal with. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about this. This was a really beautiful little notebook thing. On the back it says, we are all stardust in stories. And I love this quote. It is something that my husband often brings up about how we're all literally made out of stardust. This is a different kind of notebook. It has these dots all over it. I don't even know if it's pulling that up. Is it too bright? Is it pulling it up? I can't tell. But I do have a place to keep notebooks. So this is another thing that I can put away. And the last thing in here, hopefully the last thing. Nope, not the last thing. Enamel pin. I do have an enamel pin board where I can put this because I've been storing them all in the same place. And the last thing in here is this book. And I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Revel or Reveal? I don't know. Looks like a book based in the 1920s and or 1920s art deco kind of area 
I am a revel, a revel, I don't know. We never fail. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Embarrassing myself. Oh, I do remember seeing this inside cover. Maybe this was like a young adult romance on the island of Charmé. Magic flows like bootlegged champagne and fantasies can be bought for the price of gemstone. Maybe like a fantasy young adult romance. Okay, but I have a place to put my books. So these are things that I know what to do with, some of them. And now I have an empty box. Yes, kind of. <laughs> I need to put these things away before I truly have an empty box. I still don't know what to do with this. I think I'm going to put it on my shelf over here where I've been keeping things that I may potentially give away or try to resell. I don't know who I would resell this to. This would have to go to someone who's read Dark Academia. You see, that's been the problem with some of these boxes is that the items are very specific and they're for a very specific person. And if you can't find that specific person, then you can't give it to them. It's hard finding someone who would appreciate these items. Now, I will say that the design of this one is like just the moons of the universe. So even if you didn't know Dark Academia, you might still appreciate the design. So I guess at least there's that, but... Uh, oh, there's other things over here that I just set down. I didn't even finish the box. All right, so we have bookmarks. So this is something that I will, I know what to do with because I already have a bookmark place. Uh, what is this? Are these like, I think these may be like the inserts to a different owl crate box that somehow got put in this box. Maybe there's multiple owl crates that got shoved in this box to condense. That sounds like something I would do. This one does not have any recipes or anything. So I'm just going to toss these out. And there's this last little box. Oh, it's a salt and pepper shaker. Oh yeah, Dom Blanche. Oh, I remember... I remember seeing this salt and pepper shaker and thinking that it had something to do with Outlander because of La Dame Blanche in the second season of Outlander, but I don't think that's what it was. I think this was for an entirely different fandom that I don't even know. And this is another one of those things where salt pepper shakers are cool, but I don't really recognize the fandom, so what am I supposed to do with it? And it just really needs to find the appropriate place, the appropriate home to someone who will appreciate it. Forbidden love and French aesthetics combined to make a perfect bookish addition to your table with these ceramic salt and pepper shakers inspired by Serpent and Dove. Serpent and Dove, not Outlander. I knew it. It's like, but I remember reading that and thinking that. Okay, so these two items I think I'm going to put in my possible deal with later, like giveaway items. The other things I know what to do with, so let's go put these away. And this is my little bookshelf area where I keep things that I may potentially want to give away. I call it my dump zone. My area of stuff that's, and of course, obviously other stuff gets dumped here because this is just regular paper. But this is what I'm talking about. This is why we're cleaning this up. This is my pin board. This is where I've been putting all of the pens just to get them displayed somewhere. Let's just put the next one here. Again, I don't really know what to do with the display board other than to just keep the pens on there. That's another day's problem. Now for the little pieces that are on the back of the pens, I've been keeping them in this baggie. All of the pens, little stuff is in the baggie because I just don't know what to do with it. And I want to keep it in case I ever take the pen off and either give it away to someone else or decide to wear it or display it on clothes or a backpack. So. If anyone has any suggestions on where to keep this, that would be great because it's also just been sitting on top of my pile of junk. Next is my notebook storage area and I keep that in my dresser drawers. I'll put it in here, I have room for more. I do give a lot of those away because I just, I get so many. Of course, this is one I ordered. This is a Taylor Swift inspired one. All too well, I don't even know if I'll ever use it because, you know, I only have the one, but I'll put that in there with that. And the rest of the things are downstairs. So let's head downstairs for that stuff. Oh, my bookshelves. Most of it is okay, but it has also become another area where stuff gets set upon. And right over here inside this thing is where I keep my bookmarks. And in here, bookmarks. Actually, that's only where I keep the picture bookmarks. I forgot about that. I think the other one is where I keep the normal bookmarks. Let's grab this next one. Yeah, that feels a lot fuller. 
And this was just my attempt to find use of these little tins that came in a box. But yep, lots and lots of bookmarks over here. So I'm gonna put the three that I found in here. And I used to have a different place to put my more unique bookmarks, but I don't remember where it went. So I'm gonna put my magnetic bookmarks in here. Actually, I think I'm gonna take them out of the package out of the package and in here, so that way I can throw away the package, and that's one more thing to be rid of. Now for the letter opener, let me put this back up though before I forget. I don't need more junk lying around. Oof. The letter opener is next, and I'm gonna put it in my drawer here. The final thing from that box was the book. And I honestly don't even know if I have any extra space. See, I've already had to go sideways here, so I am just going to place it right there next to those. On to the next book box. Now that we have put all of those items away, let's choose another box to go through. I don't know which one to choose. I mean, realistically, I'd want to do something on top, but the stuff on top is stuff that I already don't know what to do with, so I don't know that that would really help me. Okay, maybe I'll do another book box. Those seem to be the easiest to deal with. It looks like this one has other stuff shoved in it. Or you know what? I think this was a Lit Joy order that I had ordered that did not come in a box. Something I just ordered from their website. Just like I ordered the sweatshirt off of there. I closed my book to be here. I sure did. This is a Weasley soda koozie. One of those cute things that I would use, but I don't need to use it every day. I love the little Weasley sweater. I can definitely put this with my Harry Potter drawer. So I have a ton of Harry Potter stuff I've collected in Harry Potter boxes that I don't yet know what to do with because most of them is like display items or you know what I mean like decor items not really super usable but also I have so much I needed to know what to do with it so I created this drawer in my old dresser that I have over here that's where I'm gonna put it this is a Jane Austen trinket tray dish I don't know where to put this I'm currently using a trinket tray dish in my bathroom already I even like pick this out but I still don't know what to do with it or where to put it. If you have suggestions on where to put trinket dishes, let me know down in the comments. I will probably put this aside in the same place that I put the blanket and the salt pepper shaker. I don't intend on giving it away, but it's kind of become like a drop off of things that I don't know what to do with yet. So any suggestions, seriously, would be for the best. Now the last thing in here <laughs> is like a big project that I don't think I'll have time to do for this video. So I don't even know if I can fully empty out this box. But this was the, these little plastic signs, or these little plastic things to go on bookshelves. And these are bookshelves markers. So to organize my bookshelf, which is something that I've been wanting to do. But that's like a whole other big project. Let's do a random one. Romance, I definitely have a ton for that section. Fantasy, oh yeah. TBR. I've got shelves and shelves of TBR books. Seriously. <laughs> Potions. That's funny. I think I'm going to take this down to my mega table. My mega table is my huge table where I film in the study. And this is a project that I might do soon. It kind of seems like it would be its own video to have to organize my books. I'd have to take all my books out organize them by genre, put them back up, put these cute little things up. I don't even have time to do that this week. Maybe it could be a weekend project. Maybe for next video. I'm trying to challenge myself to get rid of these boxes and to empty out the stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Next week's video will be organizing my bookshelf. I just need to do it. I need to do it, get it out of the way. This box will become completely empty, but at least I can remove it from this pile and put it downstairs. Let it be this weekend's problem. <laughs> Let's go put this other stuff away. All right, back to my pile of giveaway stuff I don't know what to do with items. Put that in there. This is the Harry Potter drawer I was telling you about. The drawer that I just created to hold all of my Harry Potter stuff until I know what to do with it. So there. I'll put it right there on top of the snow globe. Snow globe I have nowhere to display right now. But yeah, Harry Potter stuff. This dresser is old. Uh, and the other stuff has to go downstairs. That's the box with the bookshelf genre tags. Yeah, <laughs> if you notice up here, this is the towel I got from Lit Joy. Yes, it's a round towel. I don't know what to do with a round towel, but it has resand and Feyre on it. I love this artwork. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think it pretty much depicts them 
very well. I just put it over my mirror because I'd rather look at them. Yeah, two of my favorite characters right now. The top of my dresser over here is relatively clean, but here's another pile of stuff that I don't really know what to do with. These are my book sleeves. I use them all the time. I rotate these out on my books all the time, but I don't have a particular place. This one not so much because I don't know too much about it, but I don't have a particular place to put them. I don't know where to store them. Again, if you have any ideas of where to keep these book sleeves that I put my books in, please let me know. That would be great. And it is something that I use, like I said, on a regular basis. I was currently using these on the top, the most recent ones, and the one I'm using now is Akatar inspired. That's where that comes from, Court of Thorns and Roses. Also came from Lit Joy, and it is, here we go, Reese and Feyre again with the little Tamlin over here. You see the court, the thorns, the roses. Yep, love this one. It's the one I'm currently using. It's my newest one. We gotta head downstairs to put away that Lit Joy box full of the book stuff. So let's go. Here is my Lit Joy crate. It is the very last thing to get rid of. Again, it is full of all of the little book stuff for this bookshelf that I have to deal with. Don't mind my empty boxes over here. Another thing I have to deal with. <laughs> But this will become Saturday's problem, and hopefully I'll finally get it emptied. Well, that turned into an interesting experiment. Somehow I was really hoping that it would have been more therapeutic, made me feel better, but somehow this project turned into Pandora's box. I'm not that surprised, honestly, okay? I'm not that surprised because... There's a reason all those boxes are sitting there and part of that reason is because each individual box may contain a can of worms that I have to deal with that'll take a lot of time before I can actually clear it and put away. And that's probably been the biggest problem <laughs> with all those boxes. I am happy that I was able to get something squared away to like proper places even if that just meant moving it from like one storage area to another storage area. <laughs> but uh, at least I did somewhat clear two boxes. Okay, honestly, like I really only finished clearing one, but I almost got the second box cleared and I will be working on that this weekend. So next video will show the bookshelves and it's gonna be a whole video just to clear that one box, probably. But it is a project that I've been wanting to do, one that I've been putting off because it's, you know, just harder to find time these days to do anything. Overall, I think the project went okay. I'm gonna continue it on and we're gonna get to more stuff past these boxes. I eventually want to slowly but surely clean up and fix the entire house. So this is gonna be a humongous series if you are ever interested in coming back and watching my progress and seeing like how I'm slowly but surely healing through cleaning. I don't really know what to call this series as of yet because it's still brand new, but Basically, it's just gonna be cleaning, organizing, fixing areas, creating, I don't know, that kind of stuff. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate anyone who has stuck around to the very end of this video. I appreciate you all so much. And I will be back next week with another video. Bye everyone. <laughs>